Start her up. Oh, it's a Tundra, North America, 2007, 3RE engine. Can diagnosis. We'll do an auto scan. Here we go. While it's scanning, we'll check it out. It's nicely appointed. Temperature gauge, speedometer, fuel level, coolant temperature. It also has battery charging and oil pressure. Everything you need. A lot of carrying space for your sunglasses and stuff up here. Lots of room. Hey, maybe more room you'd ever need. She got all kinds of different sunglasses. So it's old school. It's got a CD player. Well, you know. But simple cooling. AC. Mode. Temperature. Hey, some aux power outlets. Now here's all the data. The only faults we see are with the immobilizer key, which is probably nothing at all. We really don't care about. But we'll see what it is. We'll look at the trouble codes. Unmatched key code. Somebody at some time put an unmatched key in. So we'll turn the car off. Turn it back on again, and we will erase that code. Someone forgot to erase it. Now that's gone. Another code is occupant detection. Another code we probably won't care about much. That's generally for the passenger seat for the airbag. Your buckle switch circuit. So for some reason it thought sometime that didn't work. So we'll also erase that for our road test. See if anything comes back. You notice the steering wheel only has cruise control. Doesn't have 8 million buttons. Well, he likes it. That's one of the reasons he got rid of his brand new Tacoma four-wheel drive. He said it had too much electronic crap he didn't want. Hey, he wants a steering wheel and cruise control, and that's what he got. Well, you can see everything else is green. There's no problem. So now we'll look at live data. We'll go to the engine system. And here we go. All kinds of data. Closed loop, so it's all ready. Short-term fuel trim. 0.7 it's just adding a tiny amount of fuel that was bank one this is bank two it's 0.72 goes up and down a little it's idling it's not going to be absolutely perfect it will change a little bit but it's pretty much at 0.7 which was the same as the other side we'll look at the other side just out of curiosity there see it moves a little too it goes 1.5 then it goes 0.7 it's very little change at all for a car with 200 and 15,000 miles on it and as usual these are all color-coded if there's red you know there's a serious problem but this thing is running rather efficiently you can see look air fuel ratio sensor it's subtracting two one thousands the tiny tiny bit and then sometimes almost nothing <laughs> hardly anything at all almost perfect 0.00 is perfect and this is 0 0.012, same thing on both sides. Catalytic converters are perfectly matching each other for temperatures. 228.9, 229, 230, and then that goes to 30. They are matching themselves perfectly. Meaning that both catalytic converters are still working exactly the same perfectly. With all these miles, I'm telling you, they know how to make these things. And it's 0 0.992. 1.00 is perfect, so it is eight one thousandths of a percent off that's pretty close to perfect transmission is electronically controlled six speed these six speed transmissions can last forever you can always put them into shifting yourself if you want to go up and down manually but most people don't bother unless they're really pulling a heavy load see if anything else is interesting here you can see you get an awful lot of data with this Altel scanner. It's a pretty good scanner. The data goes on, and so far, all of it's pretty much almost perfect. It tells you the variable valve timing system. Speed of each cylinder are all exactly the same. Look, 51199. We'll go to 8. That's the same, too. There's going to be no misfires, you can see. Zero, zero, zero misfires. Now, he did say he wanted a simple vehicle, but as you can see, well, it's not as simple as you might have thought. <laughs> Look at all the different bits of data. But the, all the data is almost perfect. Some of it is off 2,000. You really don't care if it keeps lasting. It's complex. Yeah, not as complex as the new ones. But still, solid made. And if there is a problem, these machines can figure out what it is quickly. Now, it's 07. It's old, so no backup camera. 